What's the slope of the first one? Negative 2 over 3. What's the y intercept? 0, negative 1. For the second one, what's the slope? Negative 2. Negative 2 over 1. Because we want to write as a fraction for graphing purposes. And the mean is at 0, 3. All right. So that's the first thing I'm going to look for. Just that. When instead of equal signs, we have inequality signs, we don't call them lines, we call them boundaries. But that's what we're looking for. Do you notice how this one here is like kind of like segmented? A segmented boundary is if you did not have the or equal to sign underneath. If that little or equal to is not underneath, that's when it would be segmented. But here, I have or equal to on both of them. So I'm looking for two solid lines. I'm looking for two boundaries that are solid. So, I, like, I already know that it can't be B, but it could be the other ones, okay? Um, now, let's see. We're looking for one that's going to cross at negative 1 with a slope of negative 2 over 3. So, here we're crossing at negative 1, but it looks like we're going up. Oh, no, this one, we're going up 4, and then um, running 3, 4 over 3. So, it doesn't look like it could be A. Let's see, um, C at negative 1. There's not even anything crossing there at negative 1. This last one, D, yeah, that one looks fine. And then the other one is supposed to be crossing at 3. With a slope of negative 2 over 1. Yeah, so it's going to end up being D. I'll show you one last thing. And then, you know, normally this takes an entire lesson to show you guys. If you pick up on it, great. If not, you know, don't worry about it. Hopefully it doesn't show up on the final. Um, but... How do we shade in? Okay. Well, here's what you're supposed to do, right? Think of these. Just go one line at a time. Let's go with the first one. We know it's crossing a negative one. And pretend this was a hill. And here's little Ferris climbing the hill. Okay. Can you picture that? Ferris is going to climb up the hill. If that was a picture of Ferris walking up a hill, what would be, what would you see in this part of the picture? If we're outdoors and that's Ferris climbing up a hill, what would you see in that part of the picture? What if, if, I, if I drew it in this color, would that be better for you to visualize? What, what, what would be on this part of the picture if that was little Ferris climbing up a hill? Hmm? The sky, yeah, it'd be the sky. And what would be on this part of the picture if this was Ferris climbing up the hill? The, the ground or the hill, right? So, on an inequality, since y is the variable by itself, if the mouth is eating the y, you shade the sky. If not, you shade the hill, the ground. So, the first hill that Ferris is going to climb up, is this first inequality that was up here, is the mouth eating the y there? So, mouth eating y, y is big, you would shade. So watch. I'm going to pretend that the other graph is not there. I'm only going to focus on um, where the sky would be. And I'm going to shade all of this stuff. This is the sky of the hill that Ferris was climbing up. Can we agree on that? So... Now Ferris is trying to challenge himself. He goes, oh yeah, that hill, it wasn't steep enough. I want to climb up a steeper hill now. So he goes to the other one. But on this one here, is the mouth eating a Y? No, so we'd have to shade the ground. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade the ground in a different color. Do you guys understand primary colors and secondary colors? So I'm going to get crazy now, and I'm going to shade the ground of the other hill in blue. Everything that's on the ground, I'm going to shade in blue. Since I already have yellow on the screen, if I mix yellow and blue and there's an overlap, what color should appear? Green, right? Blue and yellow make green. Let's see. So I'm looking at this other thing. Oh, here's my blue. I'm shading blue. Everything is nice and blue. Uh-oh. Espaguetios. <laughs> Well, you look at that. What color just showed up? 
But wherever the overlap is occurring, that's what you're supposed to shade, which is why when you go back and look at the original, that's what they have shaded in, where that green region was. If you get it, fine. If not, whatever. You know, like with the trailer courses that try to go a little bit slower. Even if you think it's going fast, believe me, it's going slower. And sometimes you have to cut certain things. This is, I think, one of the things we cut. Yeah, hopefully, and if it does, then it's not going to show up too much. Okay, this we did. <coughs> solve by elimination. I, I would have solved by elimination anyways, even if they wouldn't have told me to. So the question is, which variable would you prefer to eliminate? Okay, you want to get rid of the X? So Kira, if you want to get rid of the X, what would you... Uh, oh, no, no. It doesn't matter, I don't want to...